D. Take over New Orleans predictions. Hi, how are you? It's great to see you. I'm Razman's Reality here with another video on NXT Takeover New Orleans. So if this is your first time here and you're passionate about the worlds of entertainment, pro wrestling, and sports, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification icon so that you don't miss anything. Gonna jump into NXT TakeOver New Orleans predictions today. If you want to know what my thoughts on WrestleMania and predictions of that card are going to be, then you can check the card above your head that will be added. When the video goes live, I'm going to be doing a live stream with my tag team partner in the YWC Rotisserie Jamie later today where we talk about just that. If for some reason that stream does not happen as it's supposed to, then I will probably rework the schedule a little bit this week to get my own predictions out because WrestleMania is such a big show. Also, if you want to know what I've thought about the last two New Japan shows, I'll probably be covering those in two weeks after the fallout from WrestleMania. So keep an eye out for that. First up on the card, you're going to see the NXT Tag Team titles defended by the Undisputed Era, Adam Cole filling in for Bobby Fish because of his injury. Oh, Bobby gets well soon versus the winner of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Since I don't read spoilers and I don't know who that is, and WB.com doesn't know who that is, you just have the advertisement of the final match in your corner there. I like Dunn and Strong here. I think they've really been building up both of these two guys, and it just makes sense because Dunn and Strong, even though Dunn is more reluctant, are more of a face tag team in this scenario than AOP and Undisputed Era are the clear heels. And I wouldn't put it past WWE to put the titles on Strong and Dunn to sort of give the tag team division a new direction and to further the history between Roderick Strong and the Undisputed Era. But I do kind of like the Undisputed Era to retain here. So I'm going to go with the Undisputed Era to retain the NXT Tag Team Championship. NXT Women's Championship, Ember Moon defending against Shayna Baszler. Baszler has been built up really strong. I mean, really, really strong. She looks almost unbeatable. But it's way too soon to take the NXT Women's Championship off Ember Moon. I think Ember Moon is the perfect person to have the title on right now after all the struggles she had nearly beating Asuka. Her storylines are just too strong to take the belt off her right now, so I'm going with Ember Moon to retain her championship. The six-man ladder match for the NXT North American Championship to crown the first ever NXT North American Champion. You have EC3 versus Adam Cole, baby, versus the Velveteen Dream, versus Ricochet, versus Lars Sullivan, versus Killian Dane. I do think it's going to go to one of the two new guys, either EC3 or Ricochet. However, Adam Cole needs a championship, but I think he's more likely to be a world champion just because it is Adam Cole. It's a really tough call, but given it's a ladder match and given what Ricochet can do and given how big of a deal Ricochet was to sign, I'm going to go with Ricochet to win the NXT North American Championship because I think your first feud for that title is probably going to be a very, very heel and cocky EC3 versus the face Ricochet. As you can probably tell by my choice of thumbnail, I feel like this is the true main event of the show, even though logically it's going to be the next to last match, the unsanctioned blood feud match between Johnny Gargano and Tomasa Ciampa. If Gargano wins, Gargano is reinstated to NXT, which is kind of a shame because I was kind of hoping for him to get a 205 Live main roster call-up after WrestleMania, but I think they probably think there's more for both these guys to do in NXT and the main roster is kind of full right now, which is fine. There's no way that Gargano doesn't get 
is come up against the Mazda Champa Gargano wins here. The key for this match is going to be how they present it and the way it has to be presented without question is as what I mentioned in the intro for the talking piece about this match. This is arguably NXT's first ever blood feud. This doesn't need to be a wrestling classic, which these two can absolutely do. It can be a wrestling classic, but not in terms of just catch as catch can, you know, one out wrestling the other type of moves. This is Shawn Michaels versus Chris Jericho, Unforgiven 2001 type of style. This is a true blood feud, and that needs to be the way this is presented, especially with the unsanctioned stipulation. So hopefully WWE doesn't drop the ball. It's Triple H booking, so I highly doubt it. And then the main event for the NXT Championship, Andrade Cien Amis defending against Aleister Black. I like Aleister Black to take the NXT Championship here. I know there's some argument that Drew McIntyre's waiting in the wings and Drew McIntyre's going to be healthy at some point. He's going to want to take the title from Amos. But I actually think that Drew McIntyre might be a surprise main roster call. I think he might be done in NXT because he really was only down there to reestablish himself with the audience as an amazing worker. And there's always one or two call-ups after WrestleMania. And Drew McIntyre is one of the few guys that makes a lot of sense to me. So for that reason, I'm going to go with Aleister Black winning here because Aleister Black has been NXT's unstoppable monster. I think the next big feud for the NXT Championship is going to be Adam Cole versus Aleister Black, kind of continuing what they've already established without the NXT title. So everything to me is just pointing to Aleister Black winning here. But, you know, stranger things have happened, but that's just my prediction. As always, chime in in the comment section down below and let me know what your thoughts are on this show. I think it could be one of the stronger takeovers in a while, which is saying a lot because takeovers are always strong. As always, you can subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by clicking the round subscribe icon on the right hand side of your screen. You can see some of my previous work on the left hand side of your screen by clicking those videos down below. If you'd like to help grow the channel, you can find my Amazon affiliate links to shop on Amazon at no extra cost to you and my Patreon link down below in the description as well. And as always, this has been your Razman's Reality Check.